Hello everybody, this is Beautiful Biscuits and this is Gravy and what we're doing is explaining to everybody <laughs> how to use frame counter. Uh, so the first thing you do is you gotta go to the debug mode, which means you need 20xx or or you need an AR code, which is way harder, so just get 20xx. And uh, anyways, you go to the debug menu, uh, you gotta make sure that your in-game toggles are on and make sure debug is set to master. Um, and then you go into your gameplay codes and uh, you just had to turn frame counter on. It's, it's pretty easy. I have some other options that I also have enabled right now, uh, but that, that's, that's for a later point. And anyways, uh, then you go into here and uh, all you have to do is make sure that there's four characters that are on the same team. Um, it doesn't matter whether they're computers or not or anything like that, you just gotta make sure they're on the same team. And then for 20XX, when you have four characters on the same team, in order to get to the, the stage select screen, you gotta press D-pad up. So I press D-pad up, that gives me a stage select screen, and I choose this one because this is my favorite stage. And then, there's just a bunch of confusing numbers all over, so what you gotta do, uh, each character percentage represents a particular animation, and what it does is every time the animation plays, it records it, and it will leave it up on the screen. So uh, here we go. I got a dash on player two. So if I dash for a certain amount of time, it, it shows me. It gives me a printout of the amount of time I dashed. Uh, so now, the important thing to know is that uh, there's basically uh, one, uh, two, two important uh, inputs that you got, you got to be able to, <laughs> to remember for this. Uh, the first one is L and R and D pad left. And what that does is it chooses whichever port you want to set your animation to. So right now, the 999 is on player one, so that means when I choose the animation, it'll program it to player one. And so now I want to choose the animation, and what I'm going to do is put myself in that animation and then press D-pad up. So I jump and I press D-pad up. That freezes me in there, and now I'm ready to program it to my thing. So I do L, R, D-pad left, and now jump is programmed to player one. So here we go, I got jump player one. Uh, every time I jump, it'll reset the counter, so if I jump and I'm at 30, uh, it, and I jump again, it resets it, and I go to 19. Um, now you can choose any animation uh, and put it in whatever thing you want. So I'll do dash, uh, I'll do churn, um, and then I'll do landing. And uh, here we go, I got a readout of whatever I want, so if I wanted to you know, practice any type of thing, um, I'll be able to do it. You, you, you can be creative, you can come up with whatever. Uh, mechanical execution or series of strings that you want to practice and, and you'll be able to do it and it'll be amazing so uh, there you go that's it and uh, you just do it and then you'll be really good all right stop the recording <laughs>